What's going on guys? We are back again and we are going to be doing another Dragon Ball Z movie review. We're going to be doing Dragon Ball Z The Return of Cooler. I'm not sure how many fans, I mean, because again, I know there's a lot of on the fandom that love this movie, that may hate this movie. I personally love this movie when I was a kid. I remember watching this again, owned the VHS. I was really late in Dragon Ball. When, when I say I was late in Dragon Ball, I remember seeing it, of course, on Toonami when it premiered uh, at some point and then never really paid attention and then started getting more into it but regardless it took me a long time to realize oh man there, there's a second movie about cooler or there was a movie about cooler Frieza's brother so this takes place right after the events of the first film where the gang is going to new namek and they're wanting to visit the, the mechans but unfortunately they're getting attacked by some unknown uh, robot army invasion and then we see where everyone shows up and they start fighting and we actually see it is cooler leading them this case metal cooler and he informs them that after the fight between him and Goku that he went into the big Getty star and he can and his like body merged with that to make to where he can't die his original body is somewhere safe and he has like multiple clones of himself and these robots that go and take all these prisoners so they can take them and use them whatever fuel to fuel the Bigetti star and we do see where gohan piccolo krillin and even master roshi tries to fight off against these robots and we see some cool you know monologues where they're fighting and some of the martial arts especially and then we see of course goku versus cooler doesn't really start getting interesting until he starts going super saiyan and when he finally does we see where he finally shows hey let's go ahead and fight him and then when he does go into super saiyan he almost beats him but then he realizes it's not going to be as easy as he thinks because unfortunately we see where Cooler is able to rejuvenate himself. He's able to fix himself on, you know, an arm, a leg, whatever. And he almost kills Goku. He almost takes Goku down. And thanks to Vegeta showing up, obviously, saves Goku, makes the comment of, you know, of course, you're not going to spill no Saiyan blood today. And that is probably one of the most craziest one-liners you can still see. And then he goes into Super Saiyan. They both fight him. And we see where they do finally take him down after working together. And then we see, unfortunately, <laughs> which is probably one of the most crazy lines in the movie, where Goku and Vegeta see a thousand metal coolers, and they just start going down. And Goku, of course, makes a joke where he's like, <laughs> it's been nice knowing you, Vegeta. Vegeta's just like, shut up. And they just, you know, they turn to Super Saiyan again. And I wish we could have seen that fight just for like maybe five minutes. But obviously they probably got, you know, trampled by all those coolers and then they get into like the main area of the Big Yeti Star and they have to take down Cooler and Goku uses, you know, one major power to finally take down Cooler along with Vegeta. So it's between both of them and luckily between Vegeta and um, Goku that they were able to take him down. Otherwise they probably wouldn't have been able to. But we did see some cool fight scenes between Gohan and the, and the robots. Pickle on the robots, even Krillin. Uh, these fighters were kind of hard to fight against because, of course, they're you know they're metal bodies and having to fight them. It was almost like a Terminator deal when I think back back on it now. But overall, I think this movie is beloved in my personal opinion. Um, whether you like it or hate it, I I love this movie. There's a lot of great fights in here. Again, this is old '90s animation. This was, I think, when animation was really coming at its peak, regardless of how you may feel. Again, if you started out, you know, as an anime fan or Dragon Ball fan, Bleach, you know, Naruto, One Piece, whatever, you're going to have some respect for that type of animation and how far it's come. But overall, I have nothing but fond memories of this film. I know that there's a few things where I wish they would have gone a little bit more detail on, which was, of course, Cooler, and then, of course, how he got this army, and then also how... Um, 
the the fight with the, all the metal coolers would have gone. So just certain small things like that. But overall, very good movie. I do recommend this to any Dragon Ball fan. But if you guys are new to the channel, always about subscribing. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Uh, what did you guys think of this movie? If you have seen it, let me know down in the comments down below what you guys thought about it. Thought about the video. Leave a like on it if you did enjoy. Comment down below if you love this movie, you hate it. But either way, it's fine. And I'll see you guys later on the next one.